fragment from Parmenides, translated by Arthur Fairbanks, read for LibriVox.org. The horses which bear me conducted me as far as desire may go, when they had brought me speeding along to the far-famed road of a divinity who herself bears onward through all things the man of understanding. Along this road I was born, along this the horses, wise indeed, bore me, hastening the chariot on, and maidens guided my course. The axle in its box, enkindled by the heat, uttered the sound of a pipe, for it was driven on by the rolling wheels on either side. When the maiden daughters of Helios hastened to conduct me to the light, leaving the realms of night, pushing aside with a hand the veils from their heads. There is the gate between the ways of day and night. Lintel above it and stone threshold beneath hold it in place, and high in air it is fitted with great doors. Retributive of justice holds the keys that open and shut them. However, the maidens addressed her with mild words, and found means to persuade her to thrust back speedily for them the fastened bolt from the doors, and the gate, swinging free, made the opening wide, turning in their sockets the bronze hinges, well fastened with bolts and nails. Then, through this, the maidens kept horses and chariots straight on the high road. The goddess received me with kindness, and taking my right hand in hers, she addressed me with these words. Youth, joined with drivers immortal, who hast come with the horses that bear thee to our dwelling, hail, since no evil fate has bid thee come on this road, for it lies far outside the beaten track of men, but right and justice. Tis necessary for thee to learn all things, both the abiding essence of persuasive truth and men's opinions, in which rests no true belief. But nevertheless, these things also thou shalt learn, since it is necessary to judge accurately the things that rest on opinion, passing all things carefully in review. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.